Hello and welcome. In today's demo, we are going to talk about an integrated VMware Cloud and Veeam solution that allows the VMware vCloud service providers to build and deliver backup as a service offering. The demo will showcase how a tenant that is using Beam backup and replication can now leverage Cloudian S3 API based object storage provisioned through VCD as a scale out repository for its backups. In a, this can be done in a very simple self service manner. So let's get started on that. What you see out here is I've logged in as an administrator from a service provider's perspective. And you can see all the different organizations that have created. You can see we can now use the integrated Cloudian VCD solution and enable object storage offering for those different organizations. In this organization, we are going to use Acme as uh, for our demo. So we have enabled that. Now let's log in as an Acme admin and go into the tenant view. Um, you can see all the different resources provision, provision for this particular tenant. We'll now go in into the object storage and you can see the dashboard that showcases how this tenant has provisioned different buckets and what is the different usage statistics. When you go into the buckets, you can create new buckets. We can see different buckets that have been created. We have already created a bucket. You can see different uh, access key, secret keys that can be used, which will be needed for our Veeam integration. We have a demo, Veeam demo bucket that has already been created for our use today. So now let's go to the Veeam. When you go log in into Veeam, you can see you can have your inventory of resources. You can see the different servers that you are having, local servers that have been running vSphere and all your different VMs. You can now simply add and incorporate the VCD server out here so that you can now add all the VCD resources to your inventory. As you can see, we have in this particular case all our Acme resources added to the inventory so that we can use that resources for our backup. Going into the backup infrastructure, you can now create uh, the first thing that will be needed is the backup repository that you can do by simply doing add repository object storage, S3 compatible, and just pull in the credentials. Remember the credentials we talked about? Those are things that we will be needed when we create a Veeam backup repository. As you can see, we have already created one. We have used the credentials that we showcased earlier. And you can see that uh, simply that we will be using the Veeam demo bucket, which we have already created. This is where all the backup jobs uh, will land once you start initiating the backup. The second step in this process is as part of the Veeam backup repositories, you need to create a scale out object storage backup repository. So in this particular case, what we have is a primary repository where all the uh, backups land and then get steered into the scale out object storage. You can see the performance tier has already been configured. The capacity tier is basically where you configure the object storage uh, that we just uh, created in the backup repository. Now we need to go back to our main screen and now initiate our backups. What you need to do now is go home, go to the backups and simply either create a new backup or right click on this and you can create new backup jobs. When you create a backup jobs, you can backup the VMs, you can backup the apps, you can back up local resources, you can back up the VCD resources. In this particular case, we have initiated the backup of two local VMs that were running on our vCenter servers. As you can see out here, we're calling this new VCD backup. You can see we have two VMs that we have backed up successfully. And based on the policy that you have configured, this backup will eventually roll over into the capacity tier where you can now see those backups on, on the object storage tier. So when you go back into your um, VCD tenant view, where you can see all the different buckets, let's go there, and you can see in the Veeam demo bucket, you will be able to see all the Veeam repositories. This is where your backups will be. This is as simple as that, very simple, self-service, easy way to offer and create backups as a service offering. Thank you for watching.